Isn't it crazy what the difference a week can make? The Cubs were completely out of it last week, and now this week they've gone out and made a trade to acquire Jaime Candelario from the Washington Nationals and send it over to Chicago for two prospects, Kevin Maid and DJ Hers. Before we get started, y'all know the drill. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Lots of trade deadline content coming out today. Tons and tons of videos. You won't want to miss any of them. Hit subscribe so you don't miss any news. All right, High American Valario is one of the best rental bats available at this year's trade deadline. This season, he's hitting 258 with 16 home runs. 53 RBIs and an 823 OPS. For his career, he's hitting 243 with 82 home runs, 301 RBIs, and a 737 OPS. Easily probably the best season of his career. His next best season was 2021 with Detroit, where he hit 271 with 42 doubles and 16 home runs. Same amount of home runs, 12 doubles off in a in 50 less games. Candelario is a switch hitting corner infielder and was signed by the Nationals on a one year deal this offseason after getting non tendered, I believe. The return going over to Washington. First up, we have shortstop prospect Kevin Maid, who's now ranked number 16 in the Nationals organization. He's 20 years old. His scouting grade is 50 hit, 45 power, 55 runs, 65 arm, 60 field for an overall of 45. The 20 year old's in high A ball, hitting 240 with three home runs, 25 RBIs, um, three stolen bases, a 683 OPS, and overall hasn't really put things together. Other player in this deal is left handed pitcher DJ Hers. He's in double A. He's 22 years old. His scouting grades 55 fastball, 40 curveball, 50 slider, 65 changeup, 40 control for an overall 45. This season in double A and 14 starts. He's a 397 ERA and 59 innings pitched, 80 strikeouts to 37 walks, and a 1.42 whip. In another minor move, the Cubs uh, and Royals made a deal to swap Jose Qualls for Nelson Velasquez. Also season, 4-5-4 ERA in 45 games, 41 and 2 third innings pitch, 52 strikeouts, and 1.608 whip. Career numbers, are, however, are a little bit better than that. He had a 3-5-8 and 37 and 2 third innings pitch last year. Nelson Velasquez was hitting 241 with 3 bombs, 6 RBIs, and a 933 OPS in 27 or 29, excuse me, at bats this season. 210 career hitter with a 696 OPS. Overall, both these trades are really, really good for a Chicago club that wasn't even in, they were planning to sell players. They're, they're planning to trade Bellinger, probably trade Stroman and other players on their roster. And then they rattled off an eight game winning streak and here they are making moves. Overall, I really like this trade, um, the Condelario trade, a lot for both sides, considering the fact that the Nationals signed him on a one-year deal, getting non-tendered, banking on this, and he sure performed. And now he's netted you two prospects, ranked number 16 and 17, in a good organization. With that being said, I don't think the Cubs gave up all too much either. I don't think that they're going to really make or break the Cubs. It's not going to hurt their World Series chances in 10 years. So overall, I really like this trade both sides. I can give it a B for both sides. The uh, Qualls and Velasquez deal, I, I like that for the Cubs. I like that you're getting a reliever. And that one's a little more low-impact move. But let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. As always, hit that like button, subscribe. Come back for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.